guys, it's Peyton, and today I'm gonna be doing a birthday book haul. I actually recently had a birthday, obviously, or I wouldn't be making this video. It was June 8th for all the people that are wondering, and I turned 16. I feel great that I'm 16 now. I can just be like, oh. This might be a long video, because I have a ton of books to be showing you. So let me see how many books, because I don't really know. There is 19 books that I see at the moment. So this is awesome. I love books. You love books if you're watching this video. If you don't love books, then what are you doing here, honestly? The first book that I got is Until Friday Night by Abby Glimes. This book is a contemporary romance sort of deal, but has like a darker twist. And I read about it online and it looks so good. I really am excited to read this. I haven't really heard many people talk about this, but I think it's a part of a series of companion novels, a field party novel. It is about a guy named West Ashby. He's like a really popular like football kind of guy that everybody in the entire school knows. But no one really notices the fact that his dad has been dying for a long time of cancer and that's beginning to really start to weigh on him. So I'm sure he is really going through an emotional roller coaster throughout this book. And it's also about a girl named Maggie Carlton who two years ago witnessed her father murder her mother. And now she doesn't really speak that much anymore because if you saw that of someone that you love dearly, I'm sure you wouldn't want to speak either. <laughs> so basically everyone she loves is taken from her because of that. And West Ashby really wants to talk about what is going on with his father, but doesn't feel like anyone is a person that would be suitable to tell and wouldn't just make it into some gossip. So he talks to Maggie Carlton, the girl who hardly speaks. And I guess they make a relationship from there and I'm sure they help each other through what they're both going through. It sounds really good to me and I'm sure there's some cute feelings in this book. I've been in a contemporary mood for some reason. Next book that I got is Windfall by Jennifer E. Smith, another contemporary. This follows a girl who has a crush on this dude. For his birthday, she buys him a lottery ticket, she gives it to him, and he ends up winning. And that's all I really know about this book. That concept in itself sounds really interesting and I'm sure lots of crazy things happen in this book because who just wins the lottery? And then you win the lottery but you give the ticket to someone else so you don't even get the money. That's just depressing. Next book is Geekerella by Ashley Poston. This book is a geeky twist on the Cinderella story, so that is beautiful. It's about this girl named Elle who has an obsession with this thing or movie series, TV show, I'm not sure which one, called Starfield, which is basically like a play on Star Wars or Star Trek, I don't know which one. So she ends up texting the guy who's the star of the film, who she's not a fan of, and she doesn't know it and I don't know, interesting stuff. The next book that I got is one I'm really excited about with an awesome title. One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. This is about five students who get detention, but only four come out alive. So someone died in this detention and they need to figure out who did it and why. Awesome. <laughs> next book that I have is Flame in the Mist by Renee Adier. This is a Mulan retelling. You heard me correctly. A Mulan retelling. <laughs> That's so cool. I'm pretty sure this is is in Japan. I think it's in Japan. It doesn't say on the thing. I'm pretty sure this is in Japan, which is awesome itself. And it's so pretty. And it's a purple book. My favorite color is purple. Everything is purple. <sighs> I've only read one other book by Renee Adier, and that was The Wrath and the Dawn, which is this lovely book over here. I haven't read the second book in the duology called The Rose and the Dagger, which I need to do. I don't really know much about this book, but I think there's like a revenge aspect to it. Who does not like that? Next book that I have is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Don't know much about this book. I've been wanting to get into Colleen Hoover, and this is Natasha from Tashopolis's favorite Colleen Hoover book, and I know it's an adult book. <laughs> so even just reading the back, which I will not get into because I don't want to. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of the dirty in this book. I I'm just figuring. <laughs> so the next section of this book haul will be some books that I bought with my own money and I actually got it from a used bookstore and I got eight books for 20 bucks. I did sell some other books that cut down some of the price, but dude, that is amazing. First book that I got from the used bookstore is Let's Get Lost by a DL said almost in complete perfect condition. 
I burped, I'm sorry. It was six bucks. I do know this is a well-loved contemporary author. I've never delved into his writing before. I would like to. This is about a road trip and that's all I know. Nice. Next book is one I've been wanting for a while and I also got it for six bucks. Noggin by John Corey Whaley. This is a book that seems really funny and interesting. Listen, I was alive once and then I wasn't. Now I'm alive again, simple as that. So basically this guy got his head cut off and it was shoved into a freezer in Denver, Colorado. Five years later, it was reattached to some other guy's body, and here I am. Despite all logic, I'm still 16. Can that be any more interesting? <laughs> His head got chopped off, thrown into a freezer, and then reattached to some other guy's body. Awesome! <laughs> Next book is one that I actually never heard of before I got to this bookstore. I got it for $2.95. I needed it. Dream Dark Blackbringer by Lainey Taylor. I really bought this because it's by Lainey Taylor. I've never read anything other by her, but I own one book, Daughter of Smoke and Bone, which I actually also got at the same used bookstore a while ago. This is one of Katie Tastic's favorite trilogies and one of her favorite authors. I need to read it. And I saw this with such a cheap price and it's about fairies that are yay big, I think. I believe Leave. They have like insect like wings and this girl rides a crow. It seems wonderful. Next book is one that I've been needing for a while. This Shattered World by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. This is the second book in the Starbound trilogy I believe. The first book being These Broken Stars by the two same authors. I think this cover is absolutely gorgeous. This one is pretty too but this one is a little bit prettier in my opinion. I got this for eight bucks and I read this a long time ago. I liked it. I didn't like fall in love with it but I still wanted to continue on so here we are and I'm kind of in a sci-fi mood anyways because Zenith I'm really excited about some Zenith the next book I have is one I actually nearly bought at Barnes & Noble the other day happy I didn't because I found it for so cheap I think it was five dollars and fifty cents Hateless by Jennifer Brown this is about a girl who had a boyfriend and one day they just created a list of people in their high school that they considered themselves to hate they didn't like these people so they wrote it on a list but it was just out of fun you know, they made a list, whatever. Her boyfriend decides to one day get a gun, go into the school, and kill every single one of those people on the list. And of course she's gonna feel very responsible for this because it was her list, you know? And her boyfriend killed himself after the attack too. So she's mourning someone she loved that did something so terrible for her. She has to go back to school the next year and face the people that may have survived and just everyone else. That sounds so interesting to me. Me, and there's great reviews. Next book I have is A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. I've needed this book for a while because I accidentally bought the second book, Rebel Angel. I originally got this one from the same used bookstore thinking this was the first book. It wasn't. This is the first book and I saw this one for cheap so I needed it. It's about some sort of academy for girls and that's enough for me to want it. <laughs> Next book is another one that I actually never heard of before this used bookstore trip, Angel Burn by L.A. Weatherly. This book sounds really interesting. It's about a girl who is half angel who has a dude with her. I don't know the relationship between the dude, but he's an assassin. That's all I read. And I was like, yo, this book is now mine. <laughs> and look how beautiful the spine is. I really like that. I don't know if you can see it. So I was really like captured by the spine. I like grabbed it as soon as I saw it. The cover's okay. Next book is The Monstrumologist by Rick Yancey, who also wrote the Fifth Wave trilogy, which I highly enjoyed, though I haven't read the last book. Shameful me, shameful me, I know. This is about a guy named Will Henry, who is the orphan apprentice of a doctor with an unusual specialty, monstrumology, the study of monsters. Yes. This is on a hunt for monsters, killing the monsters, near perfect condition. It was like, what, five bucks? I instantly bought it. And it's by Rick Yancey, who's a very enjoyable author. This book looks like it's gonna be good. Next portion of books is some that my friends gave me, so thank you. I appreciate it. The first book is Sirens by Janet Fox. This is about two girls, one gangster, and a deadly secret. I've never read anything based in the 1920s. That's a really interesting time period and this gangsters. I don't know. That just seems really enjoyable. It's about this girl who's best friends with this other girl who has a relationship with a gangster and I want to give this a go. Next book I have here is Atlantia by Ali Condi. This has to do with the ocean and I'm really excited about ocean books lately. I really want to read those for some reason. I don't know if this has something to do with mermaids. I hope. Can you hear Atlantia breathing? I've actually met Ali Condi beside a bathroom. We were at a Y'all Fest event, which is a book festival amazing. It's in South Carolina every November. And I had to go to the bathroom and 
Allie Connie had to go to the bathroom too. Apparently. Or we were just both near the area. I've met her by a bathroom. And I also met Margaret Stoll also by that bathroom. Took pictures with both of them. I don't know where those pictures went. Next book we have here is Hyperion by Dan Simmons. This is a sci-fi fantasy thingy book. And that's really exciting because that's what I like a lot. <laughs> I don't know what else this book is about, but it's so many words. Next book is Pegasus in Space by Anne McCaffrey. I can't say that. There is a Pegasus in space. That is all I need to know. Next is Don't Judge a Girl by Her Cover by Allie Carter. This is about some spies. It's actually the third book in the spy books. <laughs> That's not the actual name of the trilogy, which I actually saw this years ago and I wanted to read it because spies. <laughs> so I need to get my hands on the other ones so I can actually read this. They're cheap on Amazon. Okay, there's actually a book that I bought with some birthday money today downstairs so i better go get it so the book i bought today is words in deep blue by kath crowley this is about a girl named rachel who had a crush on henry jones and he works in a local bookshop and she put a note years ago and one of his favorite books in the bookshop or whatever that confesses her love for him in the note then she moves away hoping that he finds the note and does something about it and finds her and they fall happily in love years later or I don't know how long she moved away, but her brother drowns, which is very depressing. And then after that, she moves back and Henry still works at this bookshop. She starts working at the bookshop and I'm guessing he got the letter and boom, things happen. <laughs> Relationships are formed. Sounds beautiful. And I love this cover. It has a bunch of books on it that are blue. And also guys, you're not gonna believe this. I got a fried chicken bookmark, magnetic bookmark, both sides of fried chicken. That is all I have to say. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Y'all are gonna make me pick this up, aren't you? All of these books that I believe I got. I have more birthday money that I can use for books, so there probably will be a book haul or unboxing soon, but this is all I'm showing sure for now. Oh, guys. Ugh. Look at these guns. No strength whatsoever in these guns. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh, gosh. Okay, done it for you, too. Okay. Do you see this? Do you see this? <laughs> I don't know what this dance is. It's probably a bad idea. Hello. Don't I look beautiful? <laughs> hey, it's so party. Party. Party in the city. Party. Party in the city. <laughs> I'm putting this down. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of this video. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. Like the video, comment down below. Have a good day. Tell me if you have any of these books or are excited about any of them. And goodbye. 